right, gents, we're back, and we're telling the stories of the everyday gents that live among you, work with you, and we're talking about their stories and what inspires him. We're here with Riley Anderson, EMT, firefighter, lifesaver, and we're going to be talking to him today about what he does every single day that makes his job exceptional. Okay, so, Riley, firefighter, EMT, lifesaver, tell us a little bit how your story about how you got into the trade. So, actually, uh... My mom, originally, I was probably a freshman in high school, was like, hey, you know, uh, that guy we go to church with, Jim, and is actually uh, one of the guys that works here, um, you know, he's a fireman, he loves it, he's home a lot with his family, and just kind of a quality individual that we looked up to kind of as a family. We just knew him for a long time. And she's like, you should go do a ride along with him, see if that's something you're interested in. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds good, I'll go try that. So I think it was probably junior, junior year that I went and did a ride along when I was in high school. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. These guys all work together as a team, and um, they do pretty much everything together for 24 hours, and then they go on calls and help people. So what type of education did it take to get into the trade? Yeah, so actually right after high school, I started with um, the resident program that we had here at Fire District 9, which was a kind of a live-in program where you're a volunteer, but you also ride on the trucks with the career guys. From there, education-wise, I actually went to Spokane Community College, and they had a fire science program down there, which is a two-year associate's degree. And I graduated from that and then just pounded the pavement when it came to testing. So mentorship is a huge piece of Exceptional Gent. Talk to me a little bit about who has been the mentor in your life. You know, I'd have to say my grandfather. Um, I grew up real closely with him. We actually had a uh, cabin right, literally directly in front of their property. Um, and then he was always just super involved in my life. And he uh, he's one of those people that worked hard because he knew that working hard led to good results. And he was always that kind of person that never stopped focusing on what's next. Like, man, I get this done, then I can move on to these things, which will then further propel me into the success that I want. And what keeps you going every single day? You know, there's probably, like any job, it's, it's got its days. It's still work. You know, you still come in at the same time every single morning and you kind of have your morning routine. Uh, but there's a lot of different things that we do here every day. And yeah, you can broad picture look at it like, ah, oh, man, that's the same stuff we're doing every single day. But it really isn't. You see different individuals on different calls. You work with a little bit different group of people most days. And, you know, there's, it's got, every job has those like little nuggets. And I can think of one a few weeks ago, um, we were giving a tour of the truck over at Wonderland to some kids that were actually, they had graduated their school, they were 12, 13 years old, and they were the exceptional kids in their school. They were the ones that had, had really good attendance, came in every single day, all that kind of stuff. And I helped one of them up into the seat of the driver's seat, and he grabbed that steering wheel and looked out, huge smile on his face, like, this is really cool. You know, we make a lot of small differences every single day in people's lives, but there's probably three or four times a year that you really get to either save someone or really change someone's life. It's a competition, right? Yeah. Tell me a little about this competition. Well, so it's, it's kind of a two-fold competition. There's two parts to it. Um, it was a Scott Firefighter Stair Climb. Uh, raises money for Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and we climbed the Columbia Center Tower over in Seattle. How many floors is that? 69 flights. And I want to say it's... It's 1,200 and something steps. I might be a little bit off. Can't remember, I don't count steps, just <laughs> floors. For the exceptional gents, what, what would you say to anybody you know, who's, who's watching today, who supports the Pacific Northwest about the fire department? You know, work hard, be a good individual, show up on time, put your head to the grindstone, and get stuff done. You know, you gotta, you gotta be motivated, and um, it's easy to stand out anymore. There's a lot of, uh, laziness that if you were to broadcast broad term there's lots of um, individuals that aren't that way but if you were just to broadcast a large term there's it, it's not super hard to stand out when it comes to working hard and being a good individual so do it and it it'll pay dividends in the long run for 